Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Redmi Note 7. This time we have Lunaris OS which is based on Android 16 and this is first time I'm using this ROM. I haven't tried this ROM on any other devices. It is kind of working well although it is based on Android 16 as you can see here. Lunaris iOS pre version 3.2 community. You can see a few other information here. Android version 16 we can see our device name, processor type, battery, screen, all these things. And Lunaris iOS P version is 3.2 community. The CV patch level is August 1st, 2025. The setting UI is pretty much look like iOS P, but it got its own touch. So as you can see here, the UI is a little different than the usual iOS P based ROM. And the control center, as you can see here, you can customize it and it does look good. Talking about the customization, we do get full flesh customization option tons of them actually so user interface as you can see here many things here quick settings notifications lock screen status bar spoofing setting so in the spoofing setting we do get play interrogative fix but we are not getting safety net here so you will not be able to use bank application or payment application on this rom but you can use chat gpt and other features like we do get Play Store spoof, Google Photos spoof, and few other things. System setting, we do get few other options like sidebar. If you want to use that, you can use it, and few other things available here. Or menu. So in terms of customization, you are getting a lot, and the UI is pretty smooth, as you can see here, working pretty well. In terms of network connectivity, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, hotspot, everything working perfectly fine. Even Bo LTE and Bo Wi-Fi also working, as you can see here. Wi-Fi over calling and BOLT. So all these things are working well, no issue at all. In the app section, we do get app log, game space, assistant, cloud media, and few other things as you can see here. Notification is pretty much similar to all other ROM, nothing new. Sound and vibration, sound is working perfectly fine. We do get Dolby Atmos option and Parade volume control. And few other things like adaptive playback, special audio, live caption and few other things. Modes option is survival. In the display section, adaptive brightness is working well, no issue at all. And double tap to walk and double tap to sleep, both of them working. So as you can see here, no issue. Wallpaper and style. We do get clock option in the more wallpaper section. We do get Google's own wallpapers and on device, the default wallpaper is this one. And we do get few customization option here. In the more lock screen setting, always show and charging is available. Ambient display option is available as you can see here. But it will only show when you connect the charger. And we do get another option here, advanced setting, but it doesn't work as you can see here. Storage. By default, Android 16 based ROM take 12 to 15 GB of storage. So as you can see here, 11 GB by system and few other applications will take few more extra storage. I did install game and application here. Backup and copy data. Battery. In terms of battery, this ROM is doing pretty well. I haven't faced any drain issue or anything like that. First charging is still not available. The charging kept at 10 word only. But we do get few charging related option like charging control option is available. You can schedule, you can limit. Also custom schedule is available. Battery information is also available. So these are the things you are getting pretty much similar to all other ROM. In the system setting, we do get buttons option, as you can see here, keyboard, and few other options here. Device settings also available, like you can choose the vibration strength, LED brightness, and me sound enhancer is also available here. And also you can calibrate the display. And for better performance, you can like turn on the performance mode from here. It will give you a little better experience. 
in terms of security, we do get both face and fingerprint unlock and both of them working actually. I haven't faced any issue. We can see here. More security setting, we do get SIM lock, theft protection and few other things here. Privacy option is available. Well. In terms of location, location is working well, no issue. And few other things. That's all what we are getting in the setting panel of this ROM. In terms of application, this is a GF build, so we do get few Google application here, but most of the application I installed myself. And in terms of camera, we do get a camera application here, which is Camera Go. This is a Google camera actually, a light version of it. And it is working pretty well, as you can see here, quite fast. And as you can see here, it's taking picture. In terms of video, we can record video without any issue. This camera application is actually pretty good. And if you want a proper Gcam, you can install it. Definitely going to work. In terms of Google Photos, we do get Google Photos unlimited storage. As you can see here, unlimited. And fortunately, the Magic Editor is also working here. It is slower side, but working. Can it is? So Magic Editor is working perfectly fine. And as I said, we are not getting any kind of safety net with this ROM. So if I show you that, setting about, fix the device issue. It will ask me to relock the bootloader. So as you can see here, lock the bootloader to fix the issue. And fortunately, ChatGPT is working. So we are getting some sort of safety net here. Usually ChatGPT doesn't work if you don't have safety net. But as you can see here, it is working well. In terms of phone call, everything working perfectly fine. Like I did try VoLT call, Bo Wi-Fi call, video call, and also I record the call. So everything is working well, as you can see. No issue at all actually in terms of calling. And we do get few things here like Dolby Atmos and Circuit to Search, which is also working but obviously slow. So as you can see, it is working. And in terms of gaming, the gaming performance is pretty good. As expected actually most of the rom actually performing pretty well in terms of gaming and this rom is too actually i haven't faced any lag or hang or anything like that working perfectly fine usually i play call of duty as usual i tried this game in default setting and the performance is pretty good and in terms of overall ui as you can see here the ui is pretty smooth the animations are good no lag or anything like that as you can see here, everything is working perfectly fine. No issue at all. And in my uses, I haven't faced any major issue. But minor issues like safety net is not available and slow charging like kept at only 10 watt. So fast charging is not working. Other than that, the ROM is perfectly usable and daily drivable. So if you want to try this ROM, I will put the ROM link in the description below. And many of you asked me uh, which required to use. So you can try the latest version of Orange Fox Recovery to flush the ROM. It's going to work. And try to install it from your SD card because sometimes site load method doesn't work. That's all about this ROM. Pretty similar to Infinity X ROM. But Infinity X ROM got one issue like hotspot issue. It got another advantage like it got safety net feature. But in this ROM, we are not getting safety net. But Hotspot is working perfectly fine. So that's all about this ROM. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.